Hallelujah to Jesus. Father, we bless your holy name. We worship you, Lord. Take all the glory in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. This is God's own channel with Evangelist Sarah. You are welcome. The Lord bless you. The Lord bless every member of this household. It is well with you, child of God. Jesus love you. And I love you. Please family like this video. Share, subscribe. Tell somebody about this ministry. God bless you as you do that. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. Glory to Jesus. You know that is there has been a prayer against you somewhere. Day and night. And you know why this message, why it feels so heavy for me to release? Because the same person is praying to the same God you are praying to. Now, they have been praying that you does not get what you want in order for you. When I mean four, just four, just four. But one thing is certain, God is not a man. God is not a man. You are asking yourself, this person is supposed to be a Christian. Why are they praying for me to fall? You know, me too, I've experienced that kind of situation where I saw somebody who served God was praying for me to fall. Was praying and, and saying, let's see how far she can go. And this person was a child of, as in, according to us, it was a, a member of the body of Christ as well. You know, the Bible said we have the branches, among the branches as well. Hallelujah. So your enemies have been praying against you. They're praying to God day and night. Telling God to reduce you, to bring you down. But one thing is certain. God does not answer a selfish prayer. God not, does not answer a selfish prayer. You know, there are some people, they pray against somebody out of selfishness, out of hatred. Out of jealousy, out of, out of enviness. Not that the person is doing anything wrong. Or the person they did something that would really warrant for that person to fall. But no, out of that hate, why should this person be here? Why should this person stand? That is why you see a lot of criticism in Christendom. When you see some ministers, after they have tried, they tried, they tried, they tried, the person is still there. They will not bring the person name out to the audience <clears throat> they will not go ahead they will prepare messages they will mention the person they will prepare this they will do that now because they have done it in the secret place it did not work so they will not want to recruit people physically that is why you see a lot of conflict in the christendom that is why you see a lot of conflict why will you be praying that okay my church my church should close only your own should be open no God is not a man. As long as it is the same God that the two churches are worshipping, God will be present here, will be present here. He's everywhere. You know, I keep telling us that even the sky is big enough for everyone to fly and no one will jam each other. Whatever a man so he reap, if you sow good things, you will reap, reap good things. Then the time that somebody is using to pray against another, why not use it to pray for him or herself? So that you can reap the good of that prayer. A prayer prayer today might yield increase tomorrow. A prayer prayer today might save a soul next year. A prayer prayer today might see somebody true in the next 72, 24 hours. So people, the time they are using to pray against their own Christian people, why don't they use it to pray for themselves? A prayer has been made against you and you are asking, why are this person praying against me? You thought that the person was there, was a Christian, was this, was that. But now you can see the other side of it. You know, God is not a selfish God. I say again, God will not answer the prayers of your enemy. When I mean enemy, there are enemy are more Christians. And these enemies, they are the Pharisees that concentrated on their gain more than the kingdom. You might not realize it, but a day will come, you will understand. That any man of God, any woman of God, every child of God are men and women of God. Don't get me wrong when I say men and women of God. Every child born of God, born again, that receives salvation is a man and is a woman of God. You understand? So every man or any woman of God that focuses attention on the things of others, on the things of the world, 
more than they've channeled their energy on the things of God. You have to know, child of God, that something is not all right. The Lord help us in the name of Jesus. Not negative prayer will walk in your life. No. The Lord rebuke the enemies. It is well with you, Jesus. Love you. And I love you with the love of Christ. I remain your sister, Evangelist Sarah. By the grace of God, I will see you again. Bye-bye.